Hello. Hi guys. On my main channel, Grandad is an old man. I showed you I picked up this uh, what is it? Well, catapult kit in the charity shop. I picked it up because it's rubber band powered and I thought it'd be ideal for this channel. But when I got it home, I realised I'd already got one and I'd already done a build with it uh, a year ago. So fair enough, my memory's not that good. And a year ago, I did buy the same kit in a different charity shop and did an as assembly video. So I'll put a link to it in the video description. It's Vex Robotics by Hexbug. But I'm not going to do the catapult build now. In the Grandad is an Old Man charity shop video, I did say that I might as well do all three builds because it shows you the catapult, and then a race car, and a trike. And I thought, well, I'll do all three. But I now realise there's a very long video build of the catapult. So I'll just do the race car and the trike. Now the next problem was, when I opened the box, when I got it home, it got no instructions in it. Now I do already have the instructions in the other box. But, just to be on the safe side, I've looked on the Hexbug site and you can download the catapult instructions and you can download the alternate build instructions for the race car and the alternate build instructions for the trike. So I've got them all on the screen here. That's the catapult, which I'm not going to build this time because I've already done it. And then that one's the trike, and that one's the race car. They're PDF files that you can download so you can follow them. Right, the next problem, the bad news, is although they're made from this kit, they're not rubber band powered. They just push along as far as I can see. The race car, I'm pretty sure I can modify so we can make it rubber band powered, and that's what I'm going to do. And the trike, that will need a bit more modification to make it rubber band powered. But it does have steering on it, which is interesting. So, when I make that one, we'll see if we can make it go round in circles as a rubber band powered car. But first of all, we'll see if we can make the race car. It's very, very step by step. Shows you where each and every piece goes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow that. And in fact, the kit that I'm going to use is the original kit that I bought, not the new kit, because the new kit is in perfect condition. Still, each individual piece sealed in its original plastic bags. So, rather than open it and waste it, I'm going to leave it as it is, pristine. And I'll probably put the instruction book with it so we've got a complete kit unused. And this one is my original kit. Which I can figure out how to open it. This side. I rebagged stuff after I'd used it. So I should use the bits here to build the race car. I've no doubt I shall fast forward it. And if you feel the need to find an instructional video for it, you'll have to look elsewhere. <coughs> oh, and I'm 
not very well. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I've got to say I'm disappointed. There are a few things that just didn't seem to line up quite right. Even when I double check the positions that I'm supposed to put the pegs in. If I put those two pegs in the lower holes that it shows there, then the front of it actually drags on the ground. So I've had to move them to the top holes. This, I can't think of any good reason for it being in there, other than they're just trying to use up all the bits and pieces. It's got no practical purpose at all. The wheels, they're actually not very free running. I thought they were better than that, but they're disappointing. So we're going to have to use something else for axles, I think. Well, obviously we've got to use something else for axles because there's no axle going through the middle that we can attach a rubber band to. So most of this is junk. Waste of time. 
we'll see if we can put an axle through there and through there a touch a rubber band and see I mean at least they're nice rubbery tires so they might grip but I'll show you the rework I've done so that we can put bamboo skewers in as axles or bamboo canes barbecue skewers I've moved this piece and that piece backwards so they're actually attached to the bracket that's just there that means that I can use the hole there for the axle to go through because if I try to put it through the original hole up here because there's a little bit of movement between this piece and the bracket in there it was actually jamming it wasn't running freely whereas if we use this hole it's free so the wheels will actually be slightly further forwards which I don't want because that's going to shorten the amount of rubber band we can use but it is just that bit well it is free now free running the other thing I found is that particular bamboo cane barbecue skewer squeezes into the square section in the center of these wheels very nicely and grips so if you're using barbecue skewers you may have to go through and select the best ones to give you the best grip but that one certainly fits on nicely on there so I'll do the same on the other side put a spacer on I'll cut it to the right cut the bamboo skewer to the right length squeeze the wheel on and we should be all right right at the front end I'm going to change this around I've just put the axle through the existing axle holes and these ones seem to be running okay but I'd rather these wheels were at the bottom or the axle was at the bottom hole not the top hole I mean it might look cool having it lower at the front but it's not very practical so I want to put the rubber band over the top here and it might catch on that axle and slow it down so I'm going to drop that down to the holes the bottom holes there so I have to take it apart take those pegs out the little white peg there move that white peg to the top and move the axle to the bottom well there we are the much simplified racing car and that seems to run quite smoothly now so we'll put a rubber band on it and see if it works I did away with that steering wheel thing because that's just going to get in the way when I'm trying to wind up the rubber band in fact that's going to be in the way as well but we'll see how we get on I've put one extra peg on the front there just to loop the rubber band round. So I'll wrap it round the back axle in a normal way, just over the top round, and then it goes over itself to hold itself in place. Oh, wheel spin. Didn't expect that. We'll try one of my tricks, cut the band so it's only a single strand so there's less power so we shouldn't get wheel spin. Here we go again. I'm annoyed that it's going to the right can't think of any good reason for that because those holes are all um, pre-drilled so it ought to be going straight the only thing is the wheels were bouncing a little bit they do have a key in them to line them up the tires onto the wheels and they may not have got them lined up properly so there might be little bumps there that might be what's causing it to go off to one side Well, 
Would you believe it? I pointed it left because it went right last time and it carried on going straight. I'll try a different rubber band this time. Whoop. was a bit more powerful, wasn't it? Well, we got there in the end. Not very happy with it. Not happy to find it wasn't rubber band powered to begin with, because I thought it would have been. So we had to strip off most of the bodywork so we could make it rubber band powered and use bamboo cane for the axles because the axles that were supplied weren't good enough weren't freewheeling enough too much friction and they didn't go all the way across so there was nowhere to attach a rubber band then it's very short wheelbase so we're limited on the number of rubber bands we can use I tried one rubber band on its own and that was overpowering it. I tried cutting the rubber band so we only had a single strand. That was underpowering it. And then we got into trying different types of rubber. These might look the same but they're not. These bands seem to be possibly genuine rubber, latex might be, they feel like they are. These ones are not. These are silicon. Apologies for the delay in my brain. Finding the right words. So yeah, I think these are silicon. They're not as powerful when you, or they don't feel as powerful when you stretch them. They stretch easier than these ones. These ones take a bit of effort to stretch them these ones stretch quite easily so I ended up using two of these but to get the distance right I wrapped the excess round the front there so I had just the right amount to reach the, reach the back axle if you have too much then it doesn't come off cleanly and it gets caught on the axle and the car slows itself down so you need it to come off cleanly but we did eventually manage the whole length of the kitchen and conservatory which is about eight meters it's possibly near a nine but we'll call it eight and that's it gents definitely not feeling very well sorry about that feeling sorry for myself Tomorrow I'll do the tricycle version and see what we can do with that.